Hello Commanders, Commander Exegius here. Today we'll be looking at one of the best new ways to make money in Elite Dangerous 3.0, Winged Cargo Missions. While this is a case of it takes money to make money, with a wing of four properly outfit Type 9s, you can make up to 100 million per hour while earning great Grade 5 rare materials and data. First, let's look at how to outfit our Type 9 for these missions. While you can do this with any ship you choose, the Type 9 has a great balance of space and cost, fitting 756 tons of cargo with a Class 5 shield. There are two loadouts in the description below. The first does not require engineering with a laden jump range of 12 light years at a cost of 106 million. The second is my fully engineered build with a laden range of 16 and prismatic shields, safe for trading in open. Let's look at outfitting the unengineered example. First, remove the lasers as we won't be doing any combat. Next, install three A-class shield boosters and a chaff launcher in case someone tries to have a go at you. Then, fill all your optional slots with cargo racks, save for the class 5 slot. There we'll be installing a 5A shield generator. Finally, let's look at the core internals. As we'll be building this for maximum jump range and lowest cost, we'll be running a 6D power plant, 7D thrusters, a 6A frame shift drive, 5D life support, 6D distributor, and 4D sensors. As we'll only be flying in normal space for landing and departing, this build will work just fine. Once you have your ship ready to go, we'll want to find some friends to run our missions with. While this isn't absolutely necessary, as you can run wing missions solo, it certainly speeds up the process. As a side note, while it's helpful for each ship to be a large cargo vessel, that's not necessarily required. In fact, so long as you're part of the wing when the mission is complete, you don't have to actually deliver a single ton of cargo. The idea here is someone could be fighter escort for the mission. This is a great way for new players to earn money rather quickly. Now, let's look for missions with the wing symbol. These are typically short range delivery missions or sourcing missions, with the latter tending to pay a bit higher but taking more time. Look for missions paying above 15 million. The highest I've seen thus far has been 47 million. This may take some board flipping, but don't worry. You can accept missions in solo or private, then share them in open or private later. Be sure to take missions that are under your wing's total cargo space, so everyone need only make a single run. Be sure to also check the materials, data, and reputation rewards, as these can be reason enough to take a particular mission. Next, let's share the mission with our wing. Once the wing is online, open your transactions panel, select the mission, and choose share. Once shared, your wingmates will accept the mission from their transaction panels. If during the mission anyone is dropped from the wing, just repeat these steps before the mission is complete. Once at the destination, open the mission board, find the mission, and deliver your cargo. If your mission takes a single run, everyone should wait until the mission owner completes the mission, as you can only receive your payout at the destination. You can choose mostly credits, credits and materials or data, or credits and significant reputation and influence. Tip. If you aren't yet allied with the particular mission giver, it's a great idea to take the reputation and influence, as large missions can ally you immediately. By running these missions, you can earn up to 100 million credits per hour, including 15 or more rare materials or data. While I personally find trading exceedingly boring, working together with a wing makes these missions rather enjoyable. With the great pay and materials, these are some of the best all-around missions this commander has seen in the galaxy. I hope this method has you and your wingmates well on the way to building your space empire. This has been Commander Exegius. I'll see you in the black.